Hey, Orange One here. So, this episode's gonna be a little bit of me jumping around. I've got, like, I was playing through the game and I saved a couple points that I wanted to show you off a couple things. I've got Legata here, which has Rebels. Yeah, that's right. You heard it. Rebels. <laughs> so these guys right here, if you click on them, there's these, this dude right here. He's a rebel. <laughs> Like, no, just got some friends related um, to the, like, rulers of all these empires, it looks like. Oh, yeah, it looks like basically... Oh, there's also this guy who's a rebel, and that guy's a rebel, that guy's a rebel. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for you guys. Yeah, so these dudes, apparently have a little faction now. <laughs> um, of course, with me raiding the Western Empire, I can't go that way. They've got a big old army there. So we're going to go around and see if we can get over there and check them out. In the game, when I was there, by the time I had actually gotten there, they had, like, a huge, huge uh, group of, um, like... Oh, man, now we're getting chased by them. I think we should be able to outrun them, especially if we, like, use the force to our advantage like that. I want to just see if we can talk to these guys to see if there's any dialogue. Or... Oh, there's there's one of them. How fast? He's faster than me, though. He's not going to run away from me, but that dude would be a problem. Oh, see, now they're under siege, and I can't get in there. So the Batanians are already besieging them. But you could, in theory, see, like, rebels like that, and then, like, attack the army that's attacking them and help them like fight off or maybe even get them to join another faction you know pretty cool definitely find that interesting oh look there's one of them other dude dying nines or whatever yeah a couple of them it looks like <laughs> oh man see this is where you want to use your battalion speed like I said, I've already kind of played through this part, and I didn't actually do this. So, when I was actually playing through it. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a little time jump to the next part, yeah? Okay, so I have been doing the, um... The quests with, uh... Or not quests, the dialogue with Ra Rayonan, this one woman. And so, like, I've, I've charmed her to the point where I can get married to her, actually. So... I can get married to her, and voila, now I have a wife. Um, and if you're curious about where she is, unfortunately she was last seen there, but then when I did this, I think she was in an army like at the time that I did that, not here in this place, and so she just kind of, I don't know, vanished into the ether. like. She was last seen there, but she's not there, and then, like, she appeared, I think, like, Ox Hall or something like that? It was, it was kind of weird. Um, but as you can see, our our power has grown. Our character is getting a little bit stronger. Um, yeah. I'm gonna just do another little time jump to when I think we actually get her to our party and start fighting some more. It's She's, she's pretty cool. You'll like her. <laughs> um, if you're curious how to marry... I and in the whole quest line, I have a whole tutorial on that on the channel, and uh, I did that in the other Let's Play. It's basic conversation trees. It's not very complicated. You just talk to the the woman and get lucky with a couple roll dice rolls. All right, I'm gonna jump ahead. Okay, like I said, we had to go to Ox Hall, but now these kids are staying there. They're just like hanging out in the city, I guess. I don't know. Um. We'll hopefully have them join us soon, but she now is holding um, with us. So if we go to our party, there she is. And um, let's go to our inventory so you can see what she is. I would highly recommend getting married to her. She's got some really good gear. <laughs> I think that this we need to upgrade, um, but almost everything else is very good. Besides the feet. The feet and the... Um, other stuff. But you can usually buy that pretty easily. Um, armor, I would invest in buying just from them. They really do 
get the best at these kinds of places. So let's see, Rowan, have you got any capes for her? Anything? No. Nothing. Really? Okay. What about boots? You must have some nice boots. And those are okay gloves, but we want boots. There we go. Much better. Um, I have to get like the other gear from like Batanians. I think that they tend to have like shoulder stuff and whatnot. Uh, and we'll then maybe we'll go this way. We'll go towards the people that we'll be attacking. Um, I think the Batanians have been doing very well because I've essentially weakened one of their enemies next to them and I've seen them going to war against the Vlandians and you know I haven't really gotten involved I think that they're doing pretty good and you can see they've got a much bigger party as well I think we got to the next clan tier size so we got a very large party it's almost gotten to the point where I'm willing to split it into two and then send like a companion off with it not a family member because those are me I don't want them getting killed in, out there. Hold on, what? I'm over the tree plant? Really? Oh, okay. I guess it's time. I guess we're gonna make a new party. Let's do it. We're gonna take... Um, go to L. Go to the clan menu. Let's create a new party. I'm gonna give it to... Um, Hamon the boar. Hamon, I'm gonna give you a good amount of horsemen, good amount of nice units as well. I'm gonna just like kind of like give you some of my better units, not all of them, but a good a good chunk of them. And then I'm going to also give you my looters, because I just do not like having looter units. They're just not good. Um, maybe we'll do something like that. Maybe we'll give you a little bit more. We'll do something like that. Cool. Now we have come on the bear. Who's going to be holding? I don't know what he's going to end up doing. If I talk to you, I can then give troops to you. I don't know. I think he has no idea what to do. He's trying to assess goals. He's like, well, I I don't know. Are we at war with anyone? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Are you just going to stand there? No, he's, he's, he's figured something out. Oh, look, I can see them. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's really nice. That is a huge improvement. Oh, wow. See? Things like that. These new features. Oh. Rebels have rised up against their log and... <gasps> they've done it again. They're really not happy over there. <clears throat> Maybe I can make a difference. Rise up against Caldog. No, I don't think that we can. But that'd be pretty cool. I kind of want to make friends with them. They seem like a rough, rough and bunch. I also don't mind getting our um, party size down a little bit because we are a little bit faster as a smaller group. Um, and we can also just, now that we are smaller, we should probably recruit some people. As we make our way over to the rebels. Yeah, and these guys are starting to kind of like me, you know, these locals around here, because I have done a couple quests for them. What is this quest that's on? They needed cows. Right. I have one day to do that. That's not going to happen. Sorry, buddy. I failed you. Uh, I would like also their recruits. It will pay off getting all of these guys. I think that having um, some troop like conformity really pays off 
in in it because they actually synergize pretty well um with like their boosts because like my foot soldier guys will actually work well with some of my perks that i've gotten for like um going through the forest right here a lot of infantry which like all the battalion troops are like infantry right <laughs> and i really like that these the scouting i've really invested a lot into that and man it is awesome being like this super speedy guy who are you oh the sturgeons are at war that's that's um a shame the battalions ha have been doing very well i think it looks like people are starting to go to war with them And they got that rebellion in Legata. I like it. It's cool because it's like it's also the foreign occupied place, you know? You know, I'm also gonna start paying for those mercenaries from the cities like that. Yeah, we're getting fancy. Ooh, this is some good hunts. I mean, it's like a lot of it's junk, and it's like honestly not even worth selling, but a little bit of experience. It's just like just enough renown for it to be worth it, and enough experience for it to pay off at this point. Like, it, down the road, I don't think it will, but at this point, I definitely think it does. Oop. Yep, sorry, failed that. You guys are just raiding all of them. All of these. Four villages are getting raided by Sturgeons. Like the Sturgeons just came in and just like set up attacking all of them. Hello. Can I be your friend? Or I could kill him. I don't know. Oh, he's friends with wait, Tenopsis? Aren't you guys, like, actual people from, like, the base game? Or maybe they're, like, it's another one. I think so. These are empire people, right? So they're all, are they all ethnically empire? They are all ethnically empire. Ooh, so you are ethnically empire, then. Hmm. Well, that poses a dilemma for me. Yeah, what do you have? Nothing really, just uh, who are you guys at war with, Batania? Yeah, you know what? For the Empire, not the Empire, against the Empire, <laughs> for the not Empire. <laughs> All right, Rebels. Imperial Rebels. See how good of troops they have. They don't really have too many, it looks like. You guys gonna... Look like that. Okay, they're just gonna charge right in with their cavalry, huh? Well, that didn't work too well, did it? All right, let's get our cavalry up on their infantry. Oh, my wife just got a little bit of bow experience. She's, what, level three? So she had zero experience. That's not good. Yeah, take that, dude. You don't get to throw that at me. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely getting better with the throwing weapons. Still not like super accurate, not as accurate as I would like to be, but definitely accurate enough. Let's switch the hold on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, this thing's definitely not made for melee.
<laughs> Definitely not the most elegant. There we go. Yay, I gained a level with that pathetic hit. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, you're my prisoner now. I mean, they're rebel. I mean, if I kill rebels, do I get bad reputation? You'd think that the um, cow dog would actually really like that because he's their enemy. If I do that. Yeah, let's do it. Sorry, it's gonna spam the noise. It's gonna go for a while now. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of people don't like me. <laughs> Apparently. I wonder why. So, if I... Hold on, I think I leveled up or something. Yeah, I did. Uh, I didn't get rid of it. Did that stop it? No. Okay. Yeah, the scouting has been really good for us. I think almost I want to invest just really, really in it. <laughs> That's crazy. I can get like bonuses for tracking them. That's super cool. That I like that tracker. That sounds really fun. Tactics though, it might be good for us to um, get some something with. Uh, horde leader sounds kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, it also sounds good. I also feel like I should be increasing my stewardship because that would actually push this up. Let's do that. Let's do stewardship because we really are suffering in that department. We need better stewardship. Actually, you know what? Do you have really good stewardship? How is your stewardship? It's... Uh, 71, it is much better than mine. If I were to look at your stats, if I go to characters... Yeah, you didn't get the passive... Oh, you do, you do have passive upgrade, so I could actually get that. Ah, uh, so did I mess up then? Do I not have invested in my stewardship? I mean, that is also keeping in mind that I would need her, I think, in the party. I'm not 100% sure. So let's go to here. Talk to you. I'm going to make you in charge of... Um, order master. Will that give me experience then? I think there was also the other rebel, right? Oop. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to take a call. Right back to the action. Um, well, not right back. It's like much, much later. Um, but this dude, I think I can catch if it gets to night and I can get him. Oh, maybe. Though, so maybe I should fight this dude. Who are you? Okay. Eventually bite you. Yeah, we'll get this guy. Cool, cool, cool. And then maybe we'll get that guy later. But this should be pretty easy, actually, for us to clean this dude up. Oh, Magna, you're not looking too good. Um, you know, just because we're going into a battle where we might lose some people, we've got to do that. Yep, <laughs> this is going to be a good one for us. Yeah, I think... Emperor Nelf... Wait, what? Okay. Um... Are these all rebels? No, these are rulers, and then a couple rebels. Right, okay. <laughs> so I recognize those names. Hold on. <laughs> um, Kaldog, he's, he's not got any problem with me taking these people out. So, you know what that means. I'm gonna get some XP. Oh wait, they're like, that's weird. They're like a light 
blue color. It's an interesting color scheme that they have. It's like a weird, like, not Batanian color scheme. Like, anti Batanian. I'd be interested in them actually developing into, like, more of a faction. Come up here, guys. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Where's that cavalry at? I'm gonna go take them out. My cavalry will hold the hill, I think. Here you are. Ooh. Take that, dude. 60 something damage is not something to laugh at. Cavalry, follow me! Cavalry, come over here. Choose. Go ahead and just hit him. Oh, I missed. Uh oh. Ooh, that got one. We got one kind of there. Oh no. Maybe I'm gonna go jab him. Yeah, let's go jab him. Come on. Okay, they're pretty much done. I was, see, these guys are way out of their league. Trying to fight me. And see, you can also get like things like that where you know roughly where it's gonna go, and if you get a lot of momentum, you can do a pretty good amount of damage. You know? Um, yeah, you're my prisoner. Sorry, buddy. Not your day. Materials. Right. Ooh, I'm actually over my limit of uh, prisoners. Um, we'll do like that. That looks good to me. Yeah, some people are gonna really not like me. I gotta be careful. Could be going into some bad scenarios in the future. Ooh, that's actually really good for just body, but no leg or arm. Hmm. I'm tempted to give that to someone else, but they all have, like, I think better stuff than that. Ooh, actually, what? Magna, you just got, like, terrible gear. I need to get you equipped. <laughs> what have I been doing? I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Get you something. Come on, we'll, we'll take the loot and then I'll, I'll get you equipped. That's that's me being a bad leader. No wonder you were hurt. <laughs> you know? Let's get you set up like that. And then we'll get you the nicest of the shields. I don't know if that's what we had, but we'll do something like so. And before you know it, they'll be fairly well set up. Not like, not great, but pretty good. Yeah, we'll keep you like that. Good. Um, keep on going after them, I guess, right? And we could go after those Imperial uh, towns as well that they've got. I haven't been hitting them up as much, so they probably, yeah, would have some loot in them. I don't have enough people to take on the city. That'd be really cool if I could do that and take out the city for myself. Not gonna happen. Unless... No. Unless we get to the point where we can try and found our own kingdom. Because we got our other party that's wandering around somewhere. I wish that I could, like, have them come join... Oh, I could create another party as well. Hmm. I, I don't know if they, like, gain me renown or anything. I think they do. I think their actions gain me renown. Yeah, these guys are totally down. I'm not gonna fight this. There's no point. <laughs> like really, no point. If I can actually hold on. I didn't level people up last time, did I? Forgot to do that. That probably meant some people died that didn't need to. Whoops. <laughs> not bad. Um 
And we are over capacity again. Yeah, you're not getting out of here, dude. And then we'll just get rid of these guys until we're out there. Yeah. You know, if I had the mod where you can like loot their stuff after you've taken them out, that would be really good for me. Um, I'm gonna go back over here and see what we can do, because they basically are defenseless at this point. Like, all their lords are gone. They need tools. Well, too bad. I'm gonna take everything. Are we... No, that was a bad move. Or wasn't. Maybe we got better um, people. Worth more. Not worth much more. What we really were doing was for this. What are we getting here? Yeah. <laughs> like nothing. Okay. Not worth it. I guess it, it gives me roguery experience, right? That's probably worth something. 4.8. Yeah, I think that we could catch them. Possibly. Especially when we get healed up a little bit more. Um, Actually, we should probably go trade these guys. Go up to back up. Maybe we can get more recruits and um, start another group. Oh, hey, he's he's our buddy. Um, yeah, this is always a good thing to do. Mangus the Red will do it. <laughs> Thank you, Mangus. I think that they said they needed to be level two, right? Okay. Can I also? No, I can't get any troops. Shame. I can try and go for some more, but I don't think we're gonna get them. They're just we're just a little um, encumbered, like with the recruits, basically. You know, not encumbered, but like cool. In that regard, thirty-five. That's like a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's not like anything to laugh at. I mean, in terms of just for that. And then we're going to get all this. Yep. Like that. See, we're starting to get to the point where just fighting and looting is going to get us like a lot of cash. <laughs> I'm actually going to hold on to those. I think those I might be able to give to recruits. Um, no, that's terrible. We'll do like that. That looks good to me. And then actually, you know what? You guys are probably doing well economically. Have you got any better throwing weapons for me? Please tell me you do. Probably don't, but you can always hope. Yeah, it's simple. It's, I don't think that they make them better, honestly. It's a shame. It seems like something that should be in there, <laughs> you know. Oh, actually, um, I'm gonna recruit those guys. We have the money, and I think I said I was gonna start doing that. I'm just gonna get myself up to like max capacity, basically, and then split the party. Keep on expanding our our glory. How much does that say? Oh man, we're losing a lot of money having the other party. I don't know if our friend is like gaining like experience or doing anything useful for us. I think the problem is that because I am having my little personal war against those uh, factions, Batania doesn't really want to like have me join them. <laughs> I'm in the the club of don't talk to that guy. He's kind of dangerous. <laughs> the the Vlandia. These rebels. Oh my gosh, there's two groups of rebels. That could, over a long time, that's gonna fill up <laughs> a lot. That's gonna be a problem. Yeah. You know what? You guys can join us. I was saying I wanted to bolster my numbers, so here we go. Free, free units. They're cheap too. And as you can see, we kind of need some cheap units. Also, that's not the half 
have that. Oh, did I get leadership for, for buying someone like that? That's cool. Alright. I'm down. We got a lot of really newbie guys though right now. What are these quests that these guys have here? Probably want to check that. Nope, can't do that. Is that something I can get to from here? Are they also looted? They are. Man, all those places got really messed up. That's a shame, you know. Yeah, I think we're getting near the half an hour mark. So we're just gonna probably just end this around here. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One. So much looted areas, it's crazy.